Morning everyone. Me and Charlie are out on a day camp today. <laughs> and I've uh, got a few things I want to show you. A few things that I've purchased. Um, something that I've been gifted as well by another YouTuber. Which is so awesome. So I'll show you that. Um, we're just up in uh, a little nature reserve near us. Charlie's not been to this spot before. Oh, oh man, oh, not good. It's a bit, isn't it? And also, I've got something really special. Oh. I finally got a brand new camera. And uh, the good lady wife has bought it me for Christmas as an early Christmas present. So, I'll show you when we get to camp. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. When we get to camp, I'll show it you. Um, we are well chuffed with it. Flipping egg. It's only a little, little. <laughs> Public woodland, uh, it's owned by the council, um, so we shouldn't get any trouble really. We're gonna try and stay covered. We're gonna have a little uh, stove fire down there, cook a little bit of uh, brekkie strut lunch, and then have a look round, get the lavoo up, and just chill out. What do you reckon? Let's get that over there. Oh, that's the wood, guys. Okay, give me the tent. <laughs> right, can you manage to come over? Right. Taking our time. Wow. It's like a proper raging torrent. Right, I'm over. Right, just give us... Yeah. Give us two ticks. Okay. This isn't slippy that bit. Let's get the tent over. Let's test this rock. Yeah, it's solid. But slippy. Right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Right, come on, Mr. Leap of Faith. Yes, sure. Onto that one. Are you sure it's, it's fine, just take your time. Place your foot first. Make sure it's not slippery when you move your next one, yeah? Oh. That's alright. 
that one's a lot better. And then you can give me a hand when, go on. Go on, put both feet down onto that one. That's it, and then left foot onto that. Left foot, your left foot's better. Go on, give me a hand. So left foot, yeah, a lot of grip on that one. Right, now, whichever foot you feel comfortable onto that one. Is it slipping? Not really. That's it, and then straight over. Awesome, with her guys. Mission accomplished. Flipping out. <laughs> so I've worked when you've had a few beers night before. <laughs> I didn't have any. Well, yeah, I hope not. Lost in the wild, who wonders how we could be? set up guys so I've gone with the Lavu today <laughs> for this day camp and uh, just thought me and Charlie would want to get out because we've not uh, obviously been out since the, uh, the small water wild wild camp that turned into a day camp so we've not been out together for a bit so I thought we'd come out test a new camera I've got, like I say, I've got a couple of things that I want to show you. Um, we're gonna have a spot of lunch here. What a nice little woodland! What do you reckon of it, Charlie? It's all right. It's nice, yeah. We've just set it up, and I've just said I could camp here tonight. I mean, we're early doors. It's probably about half eleven, something like that. So, uh, but yeah, I could camp here. I've brought the uh, the micro stove out today. Solid fuel micro stove. Tell you what, though, it weighs, it weighs a, a fair bit that for such a small stove. But I thought I'll bring it out and have a little fire in there, cook up some uh, some food. These you pick up. You've, you've probably seen this one before. Uh, in one of my other videos. But we pick these up off eBay. I think this were about 12 quid. It's not bad. But like I say, they do tend to weigh I won't say loads, but you know you've you know you've got it in your pack when you've got one of these and then you've also got your wind um, your windbreaker as well. I mean that's it's a lot lighter than this store put it that way. I was watching um, one of the YouTubers yesterday, um, his stove video. Um, do you know the, the, the proper ones, the bush box stoves? And so much easier. You know, it's everything's folded. All down the sides are, um, have got little, um, Yeah, all down the sides have got little hinges so all you do is just unfold it push the bottom bit down you know uh, the the ash collectors and uh, and you're done within seconds but these are a little bit fiddly but hey ho 12 quid I suppose you can't bump it can you as opposed to I think they're about 40 50 quid uh, even more for the for the XL one which um, is the video that I was watching. So I've got the transia, a little transia, burn it. So we've got that. Oh, you heard something there? Yeah, it was me. Was it you? Yeah, I was going to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was Charlie. I can't get up. Okay. Charlie. Oh, 
Shell, can you just do us a favour? Just pass us in that, that white bag there. We've got the mess. Can you just get the mess safe for us? So first off, I think we'll make a brew. What do you reckon? Oh, we've also got Shell's catapult. We're going to have a bit of fun with that today. I've not used the catapult since it had a black widow in 80s. 1980s the one with the it had like a wrist strap so you could get your shots off perfect shots but uh, this was just a cheap one off, uh, off the internet about three quid three quid it's all right it'll do the trick and if you get into it we'll get ourselves a couple of black widows yeah look, perfect there you go use that right just pop that back in that bag for us will you pal nice one Cheers, put it. Spices. <laughs> We've got a little uh, little bit of everything in there. Just rinse that out, actually. A bit mucky, I think. So my first item that I want to show you, this little baby, it's a fire striker and uh, it's a deer antler on the end of it and <laughs> I'm over the moon, you know, I mean, this is from another YouTuber um, and this guy, I've been watching his content for quite some time and I've been commenting on his videos and he's, uh, he's, he's come over to my channel to, to have a look at the stuff that I do. So thanks him so much, you know, for, for that. And, and out of the blue, he, he just um, he messaged me and said, I, I want to send you a gift. And, uh, and this is it. So Andy from Andy Outdoors, if you want to go and check his, uh, his YouTube channel out, guys, please, please do so. Thank you so much for this, mate. It's, you know, I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed by how somebody can just say, right, okay, I've made this for you, and there you go. You know, no, no, no questions or, or anything like that. It's just a case of, I've got something to, I want to give you, and... And, uh, and and there you go and, and thank you so much again Andy it's much appreciated he has um, like I say he's got his own YouTube channel up there but he doesn't want to monetize it which is uh, entirely his choice uh, but what he wants to do is um, obviously generate some income so that he can get uh, more camping gear for himself so he can make more videos um, his videos are a bushcraft they are of um, bug out content on there as well and you, you've, you've, you've also got the wild camping aspect on, on his channel as well so an all-rounder Andy is and go, go and check him out guys he, he is he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good he's a good um, what do you call us you are well, just a YouTuber I want to say like presenter what a presenter oh dear but yeah he's, he's great he's a good YouTuber so go, go check him out if you will so it's Andy Outdoors and his, um, his site, what he's, he's gonna be doing, he's opening a store to, to obviously generate the income for his, for his um, camping life style. And um, if you wanna go and have a look, he's got all manner of things like this. He's got camping gear, he's got bug out stuff on there, um, and you can just buy it direct from him. Uh, what a guy. So his, uh, his, his what's it called, his, um, his marketplace, yeah, I'll go for marketplace, yeah. His shop, his online store is at andyoutdoors.net. So that's www.andyoutdoors.net. But thank you, thanks again, Andy. Much appreciated, mate. Cheers for that.
Oh, there we go. Works a treat, mate. Nice one. Cheers, buddy. Guys, I'm, I'm rushing here now because uh, it's starting to rain. Which ain't good. So I just want to show you this other item that I've got, which is from Outkit, and it's a new uh, mattress. For those of, the, of you that know, I've got a really bad back. So, I've done a bit of research. I've gone on uh, Reddit, and people have said that this mattress is a pretty good one for bad backs. It's got um, eight and a half centimeter um, baffles. It takes about a minute to blow up. Um, and it's got the baffles at the side kind of hold you in place it's so that you don't fall off in the middle of the night. So that's a, a bonus for me. Well, that's one of the things that I dread really is waking up in the morning after a wild camp and having a really bad back. So I'm hoping this, something like this, will, uh, will cure that problem. I mean, it's six foot one, size is six foot one, I'm five foot ten. So that's not a bad size. Right, I'll blow it up guys and um, I'll get back to you. But it's really starting to rain. I'm not impressed with this, but we're just gonna have to cope with it. Right, I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, so it took me, in the space of me talking and blowing it up, it took me two minutes 30, I think Charlie said, but blow it up. Wow. And that's with me chatting as well. Is that right, Charlie? Two minutes 12. Two minutes 12, oh, okay, that's even better. Uh, so you're looking at about one and a half minutes pumping it up with your breath. Um, a lot of people don't really like doing that. They like getting the uh, self-inflating mattresses, but I'm not bothered about that. So yeah, so this is the new mo. And like I say, it's uh, eight and a half centimeters. It's got these little curved in uh, baffles to, to keep, you, uh, keep you in place on the mat. It's six foot one, so a nice size. Do you want to try it out, Charlie? Just uh, lie on it. See Can what I you take think. The shoes off? Uh, no, you'd be all right. Just, uh, just be careful. Well. So yeah, oh. this is the Lavoo. While he's getting into position, we've had the Lavoo modified. Thank you, Joe, to uh, Joe Hoop Bibby Wild Camper. He's uh, he gave us the idea of uh, putting a zip on it, and I got the mother-in-law to fit fit this zip. So thank you so much, Kath, if you're ever going to watch this. Not but me. it's done the trick. It's a lot faster now than uh, faffing about with the buttons. I've kept one of the buttons on there and uh, the zip runs up into that position there. So I need to really wax the zip, make sure it's all right. Every duty zip, got it from eBay. Um, I think it were about seven, eight quid, something like that. And it's a marine zip if you're ever looking for one. It's a really toughened, hard zip to, uh, to cope with, with thick fabric like this. Right, Charlie, he is demonstrating yeah. uh, the remote. How do you find it? Is it comfy, that? Yeah. Yeah, that's fully blown up, that, guys. Um, this is the size of my bed. It is. It's, it's pretty big, isn't it? Um, what I would personally do is lie on it, and then where the, uh, the valve is, is just unscrew it slightly, let a little bit of air out until it gets comfy. Because my one of my... Uh, pet hates about these type of mattresses is that I blow them up and there's too much air in them and I get a really bad night's sleep I wake up in the morning I'm really uncomfortable so I want to try and get it like a a memory foam one where it, it kind of molds into my shape really so we'll see how it goes I've not tried it yet I've had it for quite some weeks now but uh, not tried it we've not been out on a camp so the next camp I do hopefully I'll let you know in the morning how I blooming feel so yep, yeah, we're all sorted. Oh, how I feel backwards, Charlie. Oh. You're looking quite comfortable though. You go to sleep. You having a kip? Yeah. Awesome. Night. So it's just stopped raining. You might fact think I'm I'm sounding funny, but I've got a bit of a problem, guys. I've got a nosebleed. <laughs> so I just shoved this up and uh I'm trying to I'm trying to stop the flow of blood. <laughs> it's a great look. Right, we've got the brew going. Are we boiled? I think we are. Awesome. 
Let's get that baby off. Yeah, we're all right there. Oh, the Trangia, my favorite stove. But I have another surprise for you. Another purchase and it's another stove. So I brought both stoves out so I can cook a couple of things at once for lunch. So I'll uh, I'll let you I'll let you have a look at the uh, the new purchase, the new stove. I'll we'll see you in a bit. Well, you never told me you got a new stove. Oh, it's your stove. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> huh, yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, the third purchase. Well, second purchase. So this is um, a little pocket rocket stove and a lot of you have probably seen these anyway but if there's anybody new to, to wild camping you might not have seen these. Uh, pocket rocket is about 30 odd, 40 odd quid um, and yeah I must admit I would love to have one but um, this is probably just as good at like a fraction of the cost. This cost me £4.50 I think off eBay. Um, from China but it, it only took less than a week I think to come so which you know for £4.50 that's including the well it's free post it said um, £4.50 in the space of a week you can't grumble at that can you so you know full well if, you, if you've got a wild camp planned you want a quick stove you're going up a mountain or something like that and you want a, a gas stove rather than a mess uh, a liquid burner um, I would I would purchase one of these. You've got it in a week. You're away on your wild camp um, at the weekend, so it's perfect. So yeah, it just uses one of the screw screw cap. Ah, there we go. Gas canisters, which I purchased this from Go Outdoors, so that were another four pound, I think. So for under a tenner, you've got yourself a stove. Perfect. I'd like to thank. Um, oh wait a minute. Let me just screw this on here. Lee, uh, oh gosh, Lee at uh, Step Away From The Screen, uh, he's, that's his YouTube channel, he, uh, I watched his video on this and that's, uh, that's why I purchased it because it, it looked pretty good, so cheers for that Lee. Uh, there we go, so yeah, it just screws on like that, it's got its own self igniter as well guys, which is perfect, so that's all nice and tight. Let's see if we've got some gas. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. First hit. Jeez. Well, that ain't bad, is it? Not bad at all, that. Don't know if you can see the flame, but you can certainly hear it. And I'm with, I'm with you, Lee, on this, mate. They're really noisy, aren't they? They're not, they're not very uh, stealth-like. But does the job like I say if you're up on a mountain get some get some heat off that rocket if you're up on a mountain you can't you can't beat gas I suppose especially on a windy windy day windy night so yeah that's the uh, that's the last uh, thing I want to show you though so it's just chilling out now in the woods and we'll uh, we'll do some filming we'll get some food going and uh, we'll bring you back in a bit Thank you. 
So just while Charlie's cooking up the grub, here he is, doing a good job of that state, you. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the, the the new the new camera. Oh, I'm so excited with this guy's flipping heck. So it's a Nikon or a Nikon, depending on uh, how you want to pronounce it. Uh, yeah, the Nikon D5100. Um, purchased it off eBay, and it is my early Christmas present off the wife. So I am so chuffed with it. So we can actually get out here now and do some quality footage for you instead of all this um, grainy rubbish that I've uh, been producing of late. So yeah, that's a new purchase. Looks so good, doesn't it? Uh, <gasps> only trouble is I've only got one battery with it and one SIM card, which the SIM card I'm having to using this camera at the minute because we've only got one of them so yeah bit of a nightmare well that's it so we should get some decent um decent quality video it's not too bad at night shooting as well and also we'll get some great pictures with that so that's a new addition to the to the to the wild camping family in it you reckon that's my camera <laughs> yeah well yeah awesome I had to we'll see you in a bit <laughs> Right guys, so we're all cleaned up, tents away, everything has been tidied up and we've even tidied up around here. I'm hoping that we're going to use this as a, a new wild camp area that we're going to, going to, uh, going to stop the night in. Um, but it was full and it still is full of rubbish. There's two big bags of rubbish just behind these, um, these fallen trees, which I can't understand. I don't, I don't get how can you get two big bags of rubbish in such a remote place I, I don't understand it so I picked up a barbecue um, I picked up two rusty cans uh, there's some more cans of beer down there which I'm going to pick up on the way home um, and uh, at least it's a little bit more tidier but come on guys you know if you're and if anybody's starting a wild camp and, and um, has littered in the past in, in, in places like this, don't do not do it, you know what I mean? It's just so wrong. It's took us, me and Charlie, um, quite some time to actually get here. So it's not, it's not as though it's like a stone's throw away from a main road or anything like that where they could possibly throw it down from the top there. There's nothing, there's nothing around. I don't get it. That's where we were, all nice and tidied up. That's the rubbish, all the, just round the, that, look at it there, can you see it? In between the trees, it's ridiculous. So yeah, sorry about the, it cutting off there. So we're on our way back now, we're heading out. We didn't have the fire, so we'll bring the wood with us back, uh, back for another day. So, but what a lovely spot. It's nice. Really nice spot, yeah. First time coming to me. Yeah, it is. So you are, uh, we're going to wild camp here, Charlie. Yeah. I reckon so. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not having it, guys. He ain't going to be doing any winter camping. No, well, so. It's too cold, even though it was warmer than uh, 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 Right, here's the other. What's it called? Cans of beer that we're going to pick up and take back with us as well. Um, yeah, that's why you're camping forests in winter, darling. Just undo the bag and we'll put them in. Um, 
So yeah, that's why we, that's why you camp in forest in winter. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, um, I'll pick it up, don't worry. So yeah, we'll get back up onto the road and then we'll uh, we'll have you back for one last time. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, uh, we've done some reviews, haven't we, and stuff like that. So if it's of interest for you, awesome. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, everyone, we're going to sign off now. We're back on the trail and we're heading back down to the car. Charlie with his big bag of rubbish. So uh, I think we've done our bit today and uh, tidied up the place a little bit. So, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've uh, liked the, the mini reviews and things like that. If you have, if you possibly consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, if you do, hit the little bell button down there as well. I'll uh, give you a notification as to when I'm, I've got another video up. Hopefully it won't be too soon before I'm back out. I might do a wild camp just there uh, myself on Friday night after work. Um, even though it's going to be absolutely pitch black up here by the time I finish at five on a Friday. Um, but I'll see. I'll see how I feel. I can't do the Saturday, that's the only thing. Which it would have been great because I could have come up in the afternoon and set up. But I don't think it's going to work out that way. But we'll see. So, I'd just like to thank you for stopping on and watching uh, watching this footage and we'll see you next time. See you later, bye!